Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to download apps and games from the Mac App Store onto external solid state drives or hard drives. So this will allow you to save the internal drive of your Mac and not use up so much space by allowing large games and applications to be installed onto an external drive. So this is a feature of macOS Sequoia 15.1 beta. So at the time of recording, if you wanted to make use of this, then you need to go into the system settings and then go into general and go to software update and then we need to turn on beta updates. So if you don't have, so if you don't have beta updates on already, then please make sure to follow the link in the description to sign up for beta updates. Alternatively, you can download the full operating system upgrade from the Mr. Macintosh blog, which I'll leave a link to in the description. You can get the latest 15.1 macOS Sequoia beta there. Just download the very latest version. If you're watching this in the future, then 15.1 will have been released to the public. So you just need to go to software updates and then just update your operating system to 15.1. And next we're gonna need an external drive of some kind. So here, for example, I've got an external SSD and this one connects up with my USB-C cable. So this will plug straight into the Mac. You can also attach pretty much anything including SD cards as well if you have one, which is what I'm gonna be using today. So anyway, once you have got the update to macOS 15.1, all you need to do is to go ahead and open up the App Store. And then we can go to the menu bar here and then go to settings. And then under settings here, there's a new option on macOS 15.1, which says here, download and install large apps to a separate disk. So any app that's larger than one gigabyte will download and install to the disk that you choose. So we need to go ahead and add a drive and just be aware that it needs to be formatted in APFS. So here I'm gonna be attaching my Anchor SSD. This is one I've built myself if you, want to find out, if you want to find out how to do this yourself, then make sure to follow the link in the description. So now what I'm going to do is plug in the USB-C cable of my SSD, and then we're going to mount it to the Mac. So this shall show up on the Finder sidebar. So I'm going to open up Finder, and then look at the sidebar here, wait for this to pop up. We're going to click Allow to allow this to connect up. And if it's not been formatted correctly, what you can do is select the drive. I'm just going to erase it. It needs to be an APFS partition. So I'm going to format this under Disk Utility, and then make sure that's APFS. Just be aware that anything that's on the drive is gonna be wiped completely. So make sure you have a backup before you do anything to do with this utility. So now we're gonna raise this and format this as APFS. Then that's now unmounting, formatting, etc. So now that this is completed erasing, then we're ready to use it on the App Store. So I can see that I've got my SSD here, it's completely blank. And uh, what I'm gonna do is select this now, download and install large apps to a separate disk. I wanna select this orange SSD, which I've just formatted, and then that's now complete. So I'm gonna keep my SSD finder window here. I'm just gonna show you how this works. We are gonna be downloading Resident Evil. I wanna put this on my solid state drive. And because I've toggled that option already, then this is going to be downloaded straight to this SSD here. So I'm gonna click on the download button. This is 65 gigabytes in size. And basically what's happening is that the Resident Evil 4 that we're downloading here has been placed on this SSD and it's not gone onto our internal solid state drive. So we're not using up any of the space on the inside of our Mac. This is gonna to continue to download. So there's a couple of things that you need to know about this once this is done. Basically, once it's completed downloading, you can go ahead and move this into your internal solid state drive if you wanted to. You can also move it to other drives as well. And just be aware as well that if you're a Launchpad user, then this won't actually appear there. This is just the limitation of the current implementation. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.